Inside Overseas Basketball. Inside Overseas Basketball. Welcome to Inside Overseas Basketball. <laughs> Okay, so now that we understand the value of being seen in person uh, versus being seen in video or on video, now we got to figure out, well, how the heck do I get seen in person? So it's basically three ways to do it. Uh, the first way uh, that I already mentioned before, you know, my particular path was through an exposure camp. Uh, this was way back in 2006. Uh, the camp is isn't even in existence anymore uh, but it was a great camp for the simple fact that um, the guy that put it together uh, a guy by the name of Roosevelt Bowie um, he was legitimate you know he said it was going to be scouts there he said it was going to be coaches there and uh, and there were coaches there you know actually you know it was Roosevelt Bowie and a guy named Wendell Alexis uh, they both played at Syracuse University uh, way back in the day uh, Roosevelt Bowie was a, a, a superstar in Italy and a window of Lexus uh, in Germany. And so, you know, when I showed up to the camp, you know, it was maybe, I don't know, maybe 100 dudes, you know, and maybe 10 coaches, maybe 10 scouts, scouts, coaches, a combination of the two. So, you know, I liked my odds versus them. I felt like, you know, I knew I was in great shape. You know, I knew I was ready to rock and roll. You know, I just needed an opportunity uh, for someone to see me be at my very best. Uh, and that's what the camp opportunity gave me personally. But nowadays, uh, with the way social media is, man, you know, you got to watch out for these scam campers because you have a lot of dudes out here who are just culture vultures and opportunists, man. And, and what they're doing is they're, they're having these camps. And I've been to a few of them. You know, I, I, I've been to some of them, man. Um, you know, even kind of before I got on, uh, you know, I, I went to some camps and, you know, they're promoting it. They're going to have this coach and that coach and this guy and that guy. It's going to be all these guys. And then you show up to the camp and it's like you there, the dude that ran the camp, you know, um, like not even coaches, man. Like, like they'll have some cameras set up. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, we're live streaming this to 5,000 coaches all around the world and, and all this stuff and, and, and BS and crap. You know, basically, it's just a scam. You know, you got 100 players in there, you know, and, and, and they're charging you, uh, I don't know, $200 for the camp. So you're already down two bills. And then... You gotta fly yourself there, you know, if you're not within driving driving distance. So that might be another 150. And then you gotta pay a hotel for a couple of nights. That might be another 150. Then you gotta eat. So by the end of this, man, you're looking at, you know, you might almost need, you know, uh, I don't know, eight, nine hundred dollars, man, you know, to get this thing popping. Which is fine, you know, if it's your dream. But it just needs to be a legitimate opportunity. So make sure you watch out uh, and make sure, you know, you have a good understanding of the camps you're attending. Because I definitely got screwed over at some camps before I actually found a good one where there were actually coaches there. Now it's time to talk about uh, touring teams. The next way. Uh, to expose yourself to coaches in a hands-on manner uh, is the tour team. Now, um, it can be both good and bad depending on the situation. You know, um, when I first started out, uh, like I said, I was in Germany playing for NBC, a Metal Deutsch basketball club. And in the preseason, uh, we played against a couple of tour teams. One was, I think, I think they they were called like the Boston All Stars, or something like that, you know. And basically, it was you know maybe eight eight to ten guys, you know, trying to get on, trying to get a job overseas. So, you know, uh, there was a tour director, you know, he also coached the tour team, and 
and they came over to Germany. I'm assuming they, they, they flew themselves and paid their own way. And they paid, they played a bunch of our preseason games versus, you know, teams in Germany and uh, teams in Czech Republic. So when my team played against them, I was already there. So it was basically me as the only American at that point uh, and a bunch of German guys versus, you know, a team full of uh, potential import players. You know, so they lost. No, actually, we lost. I'm sorry. You know, they beat us. I mean, they had 10 imports. You know, they beat us. Uh, I mean, I killed them. I had like 30. You know, but at the end of the day, they had a guard there. He, he, he was okay. He was all right. You know, the dude was kind of balling a little bit. And actually, he was balling a lot. He was kind of getting off on the wing versus uh, one of our German shooting guards. And what ended up happening was that, you know, our team, you know, we didn't want to sign him. But as they moved on to the next country in the Czech Republic, he played well again. And somebody picked him up in Czech Republic. So, you know, it was a good look for him. Um, as far as the tour teams today, you know, it's not many that I can vouch for personally. You know, I don't know if they're good, bad, or indifferent. Now, what I can say is that, um, you know, a guy, Legend Lawson, he does have a tour team that he takes to El Salvador uh, in that Central America region. And I can personally vouch for his tour teams for one simple reason. Dudes were on the tour, played really well, and got signed. This is not to discredit anyone else, you know, but I want to salute Lawson uh, for his tour team because I know for a fact that guys went on his tour, played well, and got jobs in El Salvador. I know for a fact. Uh, because I know some of the players that actually got contracts. Because some of them were from Philadelphia. And it wasn't like one dude got a job either. It was like, you know, tour after tour after tour. You know, so that's a good look for those guys. You know, uh, <laughs> me and Lawson actually have, you know, uh, an interesting history. Because he's from Philadelphia like myself. And, um... You know, but I never knew him in Philly. You know, we actually met in El Salvador in 2015. Uh, that year, you know, he was playing for a team uh, in the Wachapod, and I was playing for a team uh, in Santa Ana. And so we kind of, you know, ran into each other. And, um, you know, you got to keep it 100 on my um, on my show. You know, we played them. We went we went to their gym the first, first game, and... Man, you know, they uh, they blew us out the water that game. And uh, I ain't going to lie, man, you know, he was he, he's a shooter. And he had like 50. You know, they was playing this horns, kind of high screen, high pick and roll type of offense, man. And, you know, they had, I mean, he was he got hot and, and he never cooled off. And I, our coach had us in zone, which to this day, I don't know why. Why you want to play zone against a shooter, but... Anyway, that's what he did. And so he gave us about 50. So, but then they had to come to our house later in the season. And, and, and a couple of days leading up before the game, you know, our team, which I've never understood this, they were disrespecting me so bad. Like, you know, they were marketing him, yeah, come see the best guard in El Salvador and this, that, and the other. You know, now this is this is my team and like my fans, my my guys, right? So so I feel slighted because they're they're pumping someone else and, and treating me like, you know, the stepchild or, you know, or, or, or an orphan. So at any rate, they come to our house and I am I'm, I'm pumped up. I'm ready. You know, I got no rap. So we come out and um, you know, we make an adjustment and uh, you know, we ended up beating them that game. You know, lost they scored a lot again that game, but uh, I don't know, it wasn't necessarily an efficient game. You know, I, mean, I ended up with I think like 44 that game, you know, and a lot of trash talk. So, you know, that's my Lawson story. But, um, you know, salute to him because his tour is on point. And, you know, he knows the business and he knows the region well. So maybe that's something some of you guys should look into.